Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to discover this little component which is a electret microphone capsule. I'm gonna teach you how it works and show you how to build yourself a little microphone, a powered battery microphone like the one I'm using right now. Enjoy. Okay, so this is the electret microphone diagram. I've seen some videos on the internet uh, in which they say to just plug these two pins to a, a, a connector and plug it into your amplifier and you should be able to capture the sound with electret microphone but screw them because th this won't work because in order to work this electret microphone need uh, to be polarized with a voltage between 3 and uh, around 12 volt I think you may have heard of uh, electric microphone from the 80s or the 90s where it was a battery powered uh, microphone. They were pretty sh cheap with a switch and you could sing or record in, in these. And nowadays we have a great electric capsule available for like one box or so. And they are as small as this. And today we're going to build a microphone like the one I'm using to record all my video. All my video. Um, so let's take a quick look at the diagram. It's a little bit more complicated than the dynamic microphone or the piezo microphone. But you don't need to understand all this to make it work, unfortunately. Like the other kind of microphone, we still have the diaphragm, which is a a thin material and here we have the electret element really important well an electret element is a stable dielectric material which is uh, embed permanently embedded with static so the vibration of the diaphragm will induce in a static signal into the electret element and then will be transferred to the back plate a little bit like a capacitor have two plate and will send his electron to the other plate when it's full. Here you have a connector which will go into um, this little box which sometimes it's a transistor or a IC with a GFET input. And here we have the two pin of the actual capsule which one is the signal and the other one is really important to note that it's the ground since it will be physically connected to the capsule so it's an isolation to the middle case so this absolutely need to be your ground or this won't work okay so I tested various circuit I could find on the net and come out with the one that works the best so we'll keep it really simple just take a look here we have our uh, capsule electric microphone capsule just a beautiful capsule. Here is the positive signal and here you have the ground signal which will go actually to the ground. Then here we will need a voltage supply which can be uh, around 3 to 9 volt let's say 3 to 9 volt. You may use two AA battery or just a 9 volt battery it will work fine mine is working with a 9 volt battery right now so in order to work we need to put a resistor here to polarize the microphone some circuits are saying you can go from 1k to 10k and I tried with a 2.2k and for me was the one that worked the best the 2.2k resistor so now we're just polarizing the microphone in order to stop the voltage from flowing to the output we will put a coupling capacitor here the plus must be polarized in this sense and let's say we're gonna put a 10 microfarad will work really well and that's about it now you go to your output So the output may be a 1 8 inch connector or just a guitar jack so you may plug it to your to your mixer or your computer or your recorder. We could add a second stage, a, a little preamp like a transistor or a, a IC like a 741 or a TLO 72 but 
we will stick with this really simple circuit for now since it's working fine and it's gonna be really simple for you guys to build yourself a little microphone so I suggest you get yourself a third hand it's gonna be really useful because when you will be soldering on the ground of your microphone the case is gonna get really hot so it's safer to use a third end or something to hold it in place so we have a really close shot of the electric microphone make sure your soldering iron is really hot so here can you see this little connection you have the ground the ground of the electric microphone and this little point here you have the signal the signal is here and the ground so we're just gonna double check that the soldering is good okay so I'm gonna thin some wire there Okay, so we're gonna solder the red wire to the signal which is here. Okay, and the black wire to the ground right here. So it's done. make sure there's no short between the signal and the casing or your microphone will never work so get a Vero board and three terminal block connector here we're going to plug the capsule of our microphone here we're going to plug the battery the 9 volt battery to supply the microphone and here we're going to plug the output of the microphone I know it's a bit big for a really small circuit but think that we gonna add some more option later maybe a preamp another electric microphone or some control via potentiometer so keep in mind we can always modify later so I suggest you connect all your ground together so this one this one is gonna be a ground this one and this one here So here we have, we take a 2.2K resistor and you will have to place it from your positive of the battery to the positive of the microphone capsule. So from the positive of the battery to the signal of the microphone okay first we have the in signal with his ground we have the positive of the battery and the negative of the battery then we have the out and the ground so the negative 
of the battery will go with the two with both ground of the input and the output. And right now we have a 2.2 kilo ohm resistor connected from the capsule, the input of the capsule to the positive of the battery. And then we're gonna take our 10 microfarad capacitor and connect it to the signal input. Through the signal output, the negative end of the cup, the capacitor is the output of our signal. Make sure to respect the polarity of your capacitor, or the circuit will never work. Okay, so here we are, the circuit is done. We have now the polarization from the battery through a 2.2K resistor, which goes to the capsule, and the output of the capsule goes into this capacitor here, this 10 microfarad capacitor, to the output. So all we have left to do is plug or capsule the, the red wire into the end and the black wire into the ground then we plugged or 9 volt battery you can use uh, two regular battery three, two AA battery which gonna give you a 3 volt supply it's gonna work I think I'm gonna do a special episode to show you what is the benefit of supplying 9 volt instead of 3 volt to your electric microphone. Your output depends on where you want to plug your microphone. If you want to plug it into your computer, I suggest you use a 1/8 inch jack so you can plug it directly into into your computer. And notice that this is not a balanced microphone circuit. So you're going to have a regular plug like that a jack a one fourth jack it's not a xlr microphone like those okay so right now i think we're ready to plug all our equipments and try this little circuit so i've got this little jack connector that i got from the season one i got this little nine volt battery connector ready that I also got from the season one so we're just gonna plug everything up Jesus I hope it doesn't blow if you really want you could add a switch to turn on or off the microphone like I did with this beautiful box here that I'm using to record my stuff I got a little belt pack clip here to clip it on my belt it's pretty useful okay right now we're we're plugging the microphone. Um, I suggest you touch it a little bit. If it gets hot, just unplug your battery right away, which means there's something wrong with your circuit. And double check all your connection under and on your board. So we're ready for a little test. Uh, right now, this jack is connected into my recorder so I'm gonna switch input from the micro my headset microphone to this little guy right here and we're gonna test this guys okay okay see ya okay so right now I'm about uh, 
six inch distance from this microphone and I'm sure you can hear me really well. I'm sure the sound is pretty clear but maybe there's a little bit noise due to the high frequency. Since I didn't have a low pass filter on this circuit this is the way it sounds and if you get closer maybe a pop filter may get handy to filter the 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 p and the d and the b of of your of your voice so we have a little pop filter here so let's get this little cute pop filter right here perfect we got a cool microphone and remember this is an unbalanced signal so there's no phantom power never never connect the phantom power to this circuit or I don't know what's gonna happen but I just don't want to try it okay so since I was really curious I wanted to see the performance of my electric microphone on the scope and at the same time I will test the scope again okay so as you can see we start with a little DC offset level um, around 15 millivolt which is not that bad but it can produce a noise so it's ear earable so I'm testing really close right now to the microphone and we can see it's working really good we, oh yeah there's a little lag in this uh, scope as I can see but the result is there and this microphone is working A1 okay guys so that's about it for today's episode I hope you really enjoyed the show and you didn't encounter so much problem building this little microphone and if you have any comments or question feel free to ask I will try my best to answer all your question and don't forget to subscribe and don't miss the next episode coming really soon see you guys mm -hmm.